Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. This is a highly requested video. I am going to show you how to make some rice bread. So I am going to show you what you're going to need. As you can see, I was using two cups of rice. You can use that or you can use a box of cream of rice. Or you can use two cups of rice. So I'm going to show you two ways of how to do it, okay? So if you don't have cream of rice, you can use two plain cups of rice. So what you're going to do is you're going to add the plain rice into the blender and blend it. After blending it, then you're going to use a shifter or some sort and kind of shift it shift the rice and then after you shift it then you're gonna repeat the same steps keep repeating the same steps until everything is um, blended like I said if you don't have the cream of rice I'm not saying cream of wheat cream of rice you can use the plain rice okay keep blending it until everything is done so there is not much difference to the two of them anyway. So as you can see, this is the plain rice that I blended. When I open the box of the cream of rice, you won't be able to tell the difference. They both look the same. I'm just giving you guys two options to make your life easy if you just want to go to the store and get you a box of cream of rice. Once again, I said cream of rice. Okay. I am going to use one and a half cup of the cream of rice. If you don't have the cream of rice, just use the plain rice like I showed you guys and blend it. But I am going to use the, the one in the box for this recipe. So like I said, I'm using one and a half cup. So that's the one from the box. And that's the one that I blended. As you can see, there's not much difference at all. They both look the same, all right? So I just wanted to show you guys the two options. So like I said, I'm using the one from the box. So to go ahead and make your rice bread, I am going to use one tablespoon of ground nutmeg. I end up using a little more than that, but you can just go ahead and use one tablespoon of ground nutmeg. Then I am going to use one teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda. You want to make sure it's a baking soda that it's meant to do baking. Not the one that you use to, to scrub pots and pans. So be mindful of that. Then I'm going to use one tablespoon of ground ginger powder. Then you're gonna need one teaspoon of salt. Mix all the dry ingredient ingredients together. As you can see, I didn't use sugar yet, but I'm gonna add sugar later on. Then you need six ripe bananas. Make sure the banana is pretty ripe. Then in a bowl, you are going to peel each banana. Break them apart like so. I mean, this rice bread is pretty much used in Gambia, in weddings, in all sorts of occasion for snacks. Like I said, it's a highly requested video. So you either use your potato masher to mash the banana or you can use your clean hands to mash the banana like so. If you want to use a glove, you can go ahead and use a glove. But if you're going to use your bare hands, make sure your hands are also clean. Mash up the banana until everything is pretty mashed really, really good. Or like I said, you can use your potato masher and just mash the banana. Simple as that. 
Now I'm going to switch up, switch off my gloves and wear another um, pair of gloves, a clean one. Then you're going to use two raw eggs, crack it up like so. If you are new to my channel and this is the first time you're tuning in, I absolutely welcome you. Then I am going to use banana essence. You can go ahead and use vanilla since I don't have vanilla. I am going to use, I will say, a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Then you're going to need one cup of oil. One cup of milk. Use any milk of your choice. You can use fat-free milk, whole milk, that's up to you. Then you're gonna whisk everything together, all the wet ingredients together until everything is well incorporated. Then you're gonna add it to the mashup banana. Whisk that as well until everything is well combined. Then I am going to add one half cup of sugar. Of course, the banana is already sweet, so you do not need a lot of sugar in this um, rice bread, okay? If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, so you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. So mix, mix the sugar up. As you can see, I end up adding a little more um, grounded nutmeg. Then you're gonna add all the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients and mix everything together until everything is well combined. So now you're gonna use your nine by five baking pan or whichever pan you have. Then you're gonna spray it to keep the rice bread from sticking. You're gonna spray it like so or rub some oil or butter, whichever one. Then you're gonna pour the wet ingredients into your baking pan. Meanwhile, your oven was already starting to preheat to 350. Then you're gonna bake it for 60 minutes until you use a toothpick and everything comes out really clean. Then your rice bread is ready. I want to thank all my returning subscribers and all my old subscribers for constantly watching my video. As you can see, after 60 minutes, I am going to test it out. You can see that there's nothing on the toothpick. Everything is clean. So you're going to wait until it's pretty much cooled down before you can actually take it out. I was just impatient, so I took it out and then I started cutting it. Like I said, you want to wait until it's completely cold to um, take the rice bread out and before you can also cut it and then afterwards after you already enjoy a piece or slice or two you want to make sure you wrap it in a foil paper and keep it in the fridge all right remember it's banana bread not banana bread remember it's rice bread it's almost like banana bread but we call it rice bread you want to wrap it in a foil paper and keep it in the fridge. Whenever you wanna take a slice or two, you take it out and cut and put it back in the fridge, okay? It's food, so, and you don't wanna leave it out, especially if you live in a warm place, okay? So as you can see, I was very impatient. I didn't wait for it to cool down. I started cutting it. That's why it looks like it's, you know, almost wanna break apart because it wasn't completely cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, if you are new, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because you'll be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you like this video, go ahead and like, share, and leave a comment down below. And I want to thank you all so very much for watching. Leave me a comment or leave me a question. I'll answer all your questions accordingly. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.